What you just saw there was a video generated entirely by AI. And not even I could tell that it was. I guess the question is, has AI gone too far? Let's find in. This new piece of AI developed by OpenAI and revealed on February 15th, the same company behind the lakes of ChatGPT has now been launched with capabilities of generating videos up to a minute long. And here are just a few of them. Now, to say these are insane is a complete understatement. Like, we've, we've only just begun to refine things in the AI art generation areas, and we've only really been talking about regulations and setting up regulations for this tool. We've had examples of companies putting out statements saying that they're against the use of AI and want artists to work for them to refrain from using AI generating softwares. But we all know how that turned out. There is also a risk that OpenAI are looking into a certain Taylor Swift and Muppet image spearheading the exposure of this issue, as well as many other artists and people who have had their likeness used in sexual imagery. Sora is becoming available to certain people to test and assess areas of risk. Now, also to artists and filmmakers eh, to get feedback on how to advance the model eh, to be more helpful to creative professionals. Honestly, I cannot stop watching these videos. The ones presented, at least at the top of the website, are absolutely incredible. But what I do love as well, that OpenAI have done, and Sora has also exposed that sometimes its prompts don't quite work out how you want them to. This video, for example, of excavators discovering a plastic chair, it genuinely made me laugh and somehow made my knees tingle because of how uncomfortable I felt as well. It felt like they'd saved a baby elephant from some mud and it was now free to roam the savannah. Also, there's something uncomfortable about a couple of them. Like this one with the wolves as well, it feels strange that they will seem kind of cute in a messed up Cerberus kind of way. The chair makes me feel exceedingly uncomfortable, like the way he just drags it into existence. Like, is this man a wizard? Are you Gandalf? I do have massive respect for OpenAI recognising the weakness in having some prompts, like the previous couple of examples that show that this is a new piece of software and assisted technology. In no way is it perfect. And they actually uh, ended up stating that the current model has weaknesses. It may struggle with accurately simulating the physics of a complex scene and may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterwards, the cookie may not have a bite mark. The model may also confuse uh, spatial details of a prompt. For example, mixing up left and right and may struggle with precise descriptions of events that take place over time like following a specific camera trajectory. Now, the power of AI is only going to evolve and grow in strength. But should we be worried? There's been a lot of contention over this subject over the last couple of years in terms of what AI is truly capable of. And also, there have been calls to slow down the development of it too. I do believe in the power of AI as a tool. And I'm using that word very, very strongly. It is a tool. It is not something to fully generate artwork and be like, yep, I'm, I'm an artist now. You're not. You're not an artist. You are somebody, you're a human being that is using a tool to generate art that is trained off of millions and potentially billions of other pieces of imagery that other artists have created. Helping in the creative process, I'm all for it. I think this can really help with things like video boards as well and filmmaking and storyboards. I think it can be a truly impressive tool for this thing as a part of the process. But this is not an output. This is not a final output thing that can be created. I do think in time it'll begin to replace certain things and improve efficiencies. For example, the video boards that I just said, it can be easily made to help both yourself and others see the vision that you are trying to bring to life. Now, with that, this is all that I really have to say on this. It's an incredible uh, piece of tech.
and it's quite nice to see how things are developing and how people are pushing the limitations of technologies that we are developing. But it does also feel that we do need to be wary in terms of how quickly the technology is developing because it feels like we've only just entered the AI art generation stage and you know prompt generation stage of technology and currently where we are in the world. But we'll just need to wait and ultimately see what happens and how a lot of the feedback goes, goes how these prompts are developing as well and how seamless that we truly can, can get these videos. We will have more than likely fully AI generated films in no time at all. But I do want to bring this to the floor. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments your thoughts on AI in general, ChatGPT, OpenAI as well, spearheading this kind of new age of AI and assisted technology. Let me know in the comments. Also, drop a like and subscribe as well. I'll be following the journey of OpenAI and how AI is developing in the art and design and creative industries as a whole. And that's it for me, really. Just a short one today. I will catch you guys all in the next one. See you later. Until next time. Bye.